My name's PC Colin Boys. I am the acting neighbourhood supervisor for the Abbey and Battle area, which is in Reading, commonly known as the Oxford Road. Oh, um, I've been in the police force for just over 10 years. I celebrated my 10th year with Thames Valley Police this year. One of my proudest achievements would probably be the work that we've undertaken with Torch. Uh, Torch is a local Christian charity organisation uh, consisting of five churches within the Abbey and Battle area. Uh, together we have um, done a number of community projects uh, to um, bring about community cohesion and improve um, the area itself. These have included a number of community street cleans. We've also uh, done a lot of work with regards to referring vulnerable people to the organisation. If I'm honest with you, probably one of the, the, the greatest successes we've had within the Abbey and Battle area is really, really quite simple. And that was the removal of a bench outside of the Oxford Road, um, McDonald's. Um, just by the West Reading train station. We were having a lot of antisocial behaviour problems within the area. There was a lot of street drinking. Um, and basically, um, after a, a bit of a rigorous campaign with the local council to um, have that bench removed, it was eventually removed. And overnight, the problem stopped uh, and the area has been completely transformed. So it just shows you a little bit of target hardening um, can really improve the area itself as well as the community living within it. Neighbourhood policing is a really, really important role. You know, we engage with a variety of different people in the area. Some of them can be uh, incredibly vulnerable. There was one particular situation whereby I um, was made aware of a, a vulnerable male who suffered from a mental health condition. Um, and basically he was being uh, cuckooed by a, a, a local sex worker and drug user. Um, and the, the, the sheer amount of problems that was actually causing both him and his family, the, the amount of stress uh, and just how helpless they felt um, was really, really quite overwhelming. Um, for me to be able to address that um, and improve his life has been incredibly rewarding. Obviously, it's quite an honour to receive these awards. Um, to be nominated as Community Officer for Berkshire and Community Officer for the Force is an incredible honour. Um, it means a lot to me knowing that the community has recognised some of the work that um, I've been able to achieve over the last 21 months. Um, you know, and I, I humbly accept the award, not only on behalf of myself, but also of the Abbey and Battle team who dedicate so much of their lives to trying to improve the community. We've had quite a lot of successes. We've had a lot of success with the drug dealing um, in certain areas. He's been instrumental in bringing the churches together and getting them to communicate between themselves, which has been um, something that's helped everybody. It means that the police don't always have to be involved now. And Colin has shown great resilience and compassion for the area. Um, he's a really good manager of PCSOs as well. Yeah, and I just think he was a great team leader, really, really good for us. So Colin has worked tirelessly since he's been in that role. Um, he's really dedicated, he takes on board everything that the community has asked him to do or that the concerns that they have and he's just put his heart and soul into dealing with all their concerns and making the Oxford Road a safer place for them to live. Most of what Colin's achieved, he's done off his own back. It's not something that he's been asked to do. He's gone above and beyond, really, to, to do that on his own. He's really loved by his team. He finds a way of presenting things that people want to get involved. He's really engaged his team to get involved. He gives them great leadership. Colin, just uh, delighted to um, say a few words on your behalf. Really appreciated getting to know you in the last year as we've worked together uh, in West Reading. Your presence and support has been really, really, really helpful in that. We've done a number of things in the community together, a number of street cleans, you've come and met with the leadership. We collected a huge bit of rubbish and cleared up graffiti. Uh, I think it was in seeing that, uh, 
the 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 residents association and other people at the time um, just seeing their their appreciation of you and all that you had contributed um, to the community your passion your drive to to get things right for the community to get the community involved and to get things sorted it's important for the community to feel valued um, and it's important that we recognize the importance of customer service I think that this award um, has really, really motivated me to keep a high standard of customer service and to continue to deliver that high customer service. When I, when I became a police officer, um, I did so with the intention of helping the community. You know, every single day I go to work, I want to help people. And I recognise that um, the officers that I work with on the Reading LPA all want to do exactly the same thing. We're here to, to help the community, to protect the community and to tackle offenders affecting the lives of community. Um, I really just hope that people understand that and, and appreciate um, the efforts which are made by all officers within the Reading LPA. I'd say passionate about his work, um, compassionate with his workforce and reliable, completely reliable. Driven, enthusiastic and positive. It's been great to work alongside you to share the challenges uh, from your perspective and our perspective. So thank you for all your support.